In this example, we are going to implement the dividend discount model um, as our valuation technique, and we're going to use the Gordon growth model to come up with a terminal value within the dividend discount model. So suppose that we have this company, Blue Water Cruisers International, and they just paid a dividend of $2 per share. The dividends are expected to grow at a rate of 10% over the next three years, and then they're going to level off at 4% indefinitely. We've got a required return of 12% and we're going to value the stock. So our timeline is going to look something like this. Now we are standing right here at time period zero and the company just paid a dividend of $2. The very first dividend is um, at time period one is going to be that $2 grown at the 10% growth rate. So that's going to be 2 times 1 plus 0.01, and that's going to equal $2.20. Now in year 2 and in year 3, um, the company is still in its high growth mode, uh, growing at 10% per year. And so in year 2, we would be growing at uh, two dollars and twenty cents so the dividend the year prior we're growing another year at that ten percent and that's going to equal uh, two dollars and forty two cents in year three the dividend is going to be that 242 grown at ten percent so one plus point one zero and that's going to equal uh, two dollars and sixty six cents starting in year four the dividend is going to be growing at its long run growth rate of four percent so in year four the dividend is going to be growing at two dollars and sixty cent sixty six cents which is the dividend in year three grown at four percent and that is going to equal $2.77. And that's going to continue to grow at 4% forever. So um, it's a perpetuity. And that's important for the Gordon growth model. So now we need to come up with uh, a valuation of this. We need to discount them all back to today. So let's first tackle the perpetuity component, the part that's going um, on forever. So we pretend we're standing one year prior to the, uh, the beginning of the perpetuity, and we come up with the price at time period three equals the dividend at time period four divided by K minus G, where K is the discount rate or the required rate of return of 12%, and G is our long run growth rate of 4%. And so the price at time period three is going to be that $2.77 divided by 0.12 minus 0.04, which is equal to $34.61. Now that's the price at time period three. So right here on our timeline, time period three. Well, then the final step of this is to take the three cash flows that we have. Um, so this is that two dollars and twenty-two or two dollars and twenty cents that we would receive at year one, two dollars and forty-two cents we receive at two, uh, year two, two sixty-six is our dividend at year three, and then that terminal value of thirty-four sixty-one that we just calculated at time period three. So what we need to do is discount them all back to today at the required return of 12%. So the price today is going to be that 220 and we're discounting it back one period. And discounting that second one back two periods. three periods, and then that terminal value of 
3461. We also discount back three periods because that is where we were pretending to stand at time period three. So when we actually run through those calculations, we find that the price today is $30.42.